An attractor is an idea that has reached critical mass. This means it has become a very potent idea with enough gravity to draw people towards it. Future events such as putting a man on Mars, finding a cure for cancer, developing a fusion energy reactor, or inventing a mass market flying car are all well-known endpoints that have become staples of our culture in a common theme in media as well as the global conversation. In our daily lives, we often discuss these attractors without any awareness that the mere discussion of the topic reinforces its role as an attractor. Attractionary futuristics is an emerging science that I've been developing at the Da Vinci Institute. It's based on the science of attractors. This new field explores what effect known future events have on present day activities. This research has been focused on one, identifying known attractors, creating new attractors, how to rate and categorize attractors, their range of influence, the intensity of the attraction, and the directional vectors of these various forces. To help understand their value, we are attempting to gauge how attractors affect things like the use of keyword phrases in search volume and written docs in the information world. This will give us the ability to assign a number on the likelihood scale. At a certain point, attractors become inevitable, and this enables us to both interact and manipulate the future from here and in the present. Past visionaries have given us many of the mental models and pictures that we use today about what the future holds. Sometimes these visions come in the form of illustrations or artwork, other times in movies or video clips, but very often they start out as nothing more than an idea tucked in the middle of a book or an article that an author mentions in passing. One good illustration of this is da Vinci's artwork. During his lifetime, Leonardo da Vinci dedicated over 500 drawings and 35,000 words to the concept of flying. He used the tools at his disposal to convey the idea that flying would someday become both viable and practical. His ideas managed to survive through the centuries and eventually came to life first in the form of Joseph and Jack Montgolfier's hot air balloon flight and later in the Wright Brothers flying machine in 1903 at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Even though communication systems were crude, the da Vinci drawings served as a source of inspiration and as a blueprint of sorts for making it happen. Other notable visionaries who have influenced our thoughts on the future include Jules Verne, his visions of submarines and space travel, Gene Roddenberry with his visions of cell phones and teleportation, Arthur C. Clarke with his visions of talking computers and space elevators, Philip K. Dick with his visions of flying cars and time travel, and George Lucas's visions of robots and space travel. In 1986, the field of nanotechnology was jolted into existence with K. Eric Drexler's book titled Engines of Creation and his vision of what may or may not be possible once we have the ability to work with nanoscale materials. While some of his vision for molecular scale factories and self-assembling machines remains the source of much controversy and debate, his vision served as a significant turning point for scientific research and commercial development. <music>